I came of age as a feminist at Barnard. I remember specifically going to consciousness raising groups and being the anti-war movement and being in the black student movement. And all that happened at Barnard. And all of my coming of age politically happened here. Emotionally and intellectually, it happened here. I formed the basis of my critical thinking. And I thought that my archives belonged here. I had had the opportunity earlier at Barnard to edit Fat Mama magazine, which was a collection of essays, music, photographs, and drawings by black Barnard women, because I felt that the literary magazine didn't represent us. Fat mama is a vernacular term. P-H-A-T, fat, meant well-built, sensual, like the Commodore's song, You're a Brick House. We want to demystify the black female body, which has been stereotypically used as a whore or an enticement to sex. So we had nudes of the female body in the magazine that demonstrated women as naked beings of beauty. This little book was my first published book. And at that time, all the readings I did, I called for colored girls who considered suicide. And so I assembled the poems I had that I had been doing as for colored girls. Not all of those poems made it to the finished version of For Colored Girls, but they're an indication of where the work was headed. This is a dress rehearsal with Halifu Osumari, who's a dancer and composer, and she ran everybody's dance studio in Oakland. But she had a dance company that I belong to, along with Aisha here in the middle, and that's me doing an attitude jump, rehearsing the history of African dance as an hour assembly program in schools where there were a lot of black and Latin students. This quill was a gift a young woman gave me after a reading. I think I got it right after I had had the stroke. And so I could write, but I wrote haltingly because my right side was very weak. So I never got to use it, but I wanted to keep it because it reminded me of this young woman who appreciated my work so much. I bought this rosary when I went to the Vatican because of my sense of goddess worship. And the Virgin Mary is the ultimate goddess for me, and I wanted a rosary from the Vatican because that's where the Virgin Mary is heralded most. But I wanted the rosary because when I got sick after the stroke and before the neuropathy, I used to say the rosary and Hail Marys to give me comfort. I needed to be in touch with the goddess to help make me well, and it worked. It has worked, it has worked. I have gotten better over the last 10 years. There was a point when I couldn't stand up, I couldn't stand at all, and I had no use of my hands. I would forget what I was saying in the middle of a sentence, so I have come back from almost a vegetative state. I'm very grateful to Barnard for giving all of these things that are precious to me, a home, and for allowing young scholars of color, young women of color, to find antecedents. And I just wanted to leave something here so the girls would be able to look at what life at Barnard as a black girl can become for you and what you can do with what you get from Barnard.